Good morning, Joseph Carr here at Schaefer Chevrolet doing a walk around video for you on this 2013 Ford F-150 XLT. It is not black, it is green and it is a beautiful dark green. Um, a little bit darker than my truck, I've got a Chevy, but even so this truck's gorgeous. Uh, I'm going to kind of move from the outside to the inside for you here, kind of giving you a little more detail on it compared to the video that you see online. I just kind of want to give you uh, the benefit of the doubt, especially since you're coming from such a distance to come inspect this vehicle and potentially purchase it. So why don't we get a little started here by starting with the very front of the vehicle. As you can see, you've got your bug deflector up front with the F-150 insignia and your Ford logo in the very front. Um, no, no rust, no major dings or scuffs that I'm noting on here. You got your uh, front tow hooks right here, and it looks like an engine block heater under there. But you can see right there, and right there is your tow hooks, your fog lamps. As we move around the front side of the vehicle, again, no real major damage that I'm noting. It's just dirty because it's still brand new to our line, hasn't been cleaned. See? Dirt. Tire tread's still really good on the vehicle. Moving up underneath here. You can start to see a little discoloration up there, but I mean, that's typical. I mean, that's not real rust. I think that's just dirt or something. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. But looks like they've got the plastic undercoating on here to help prevent the rusting, which is nice. And you've got the mud flaps. Moving along the right side of the vehicle, I've already got the window down. you got the, uh, the rain guards on there, which is really nice and useful. We're going to keep moving along here. Uh, the only... Looks like there's a chip right here. That's the only real major damage I'm seeing on it so far. Up under here, it's clean. Nothing coming off. Your gas cap, easy flip, fuel. Four by four, quarter panel. Moving again underneath the uh, vehicle for you to get a better view. There we go. Let's move around the back side of it. Drop the tailgate for you in just a second here. There's your F-150 badge, Schaefer Chevrolet, Ford, flex fuel capable. You've also got yourself a nice little backup camera right there. Here's your tailgates down. Got your bed liner in here. It's clean underneath. No rust. That's just wear. Moving along the rear passenger quarter panel. Again, nothing that I'm noting, no damage, no dings, no dents. Mm, little discoloration on that one. But again, it looks like they, uh, they had the undercoating, which is nice. So they definitely took pride in their vehicle. Again, you look in here, no, no rust, no, uh, no breakdown of it. Rain guards, no dents, no dings, or anything that I'm seeing on the side of this, as you can see yourselves, or as best you can through a film. Front quarter panel, up under the wheel well again. This is all the stuff that just needs to be sprayed off, it's just dirt. Get underneath the rocker panel for you. All right, moving around to the front of the vehicle. This is your key fob. It's got remote start on it as well. Let's open it up for you. Right there. That's the only thing I've seen so far. But as I get in here, I don't smell smoke. I do not. But I'm going to start her up for you. There's your mileage. There you go. Just wanted you to hear that engine. I love it. All right. So as I move in, you got all these different apps that I don't know how Ford has them on here, but a bunch of different options that you can do with it. All these controls to be able to control your apps on there. Cruise control, volume, 
Bluetooth, electronic braking. Here's your radio. Let's make sure it works. Kyle is about the, the reasons why we like the Chris Kyle movie. Shut it off, your fan. Yeah, that works. It's cold. Mirror. Tinted window. I think that's standard on this one. Nope, that looks aftermarket. That mirror works as well. 12 volt. Open this, you got your sync option. So line in for your auxiliary, USB or iPod. And your 12 volt port right there. Close it. Compartment for your cell phone or change whatever you want to use. You can flip this up. And you have a little bit more room right there, which is nice if you need to hide a couple of objects while you're out, out or inside. The seat does fold down. There's a latch. Forgive me. Delay. I've got a gimp hand at the moment. There we go. Cup holder. And another compartment. Plenty of room. Up top. His and hers sunglasses holder. It works. It's a mirror. Let's move around to the back seat. Again, as I open the door, should open all four of them for you once I get through here. Doesn't look to have any issues like it did on the front one, but you got floor mats right here, which are nice. Seat folds up and gives you a whole bunch of room back here, which is really nice. I like that. It's like riding in a Cadillac. I'm gonna move around, open the other doors for you here, and uh, kind of start getting ready to send you off, but definitely want you to have the benefit of the doubt, especially on such a long journey. So, open here. No rust. This seat also folds up, by the way. And as I open this door, No rust. Owner's manual, do we have one? Looks like we do. And I just want to make sure you've got your power seats in here. That was the one thing I didn't really highlight. I apologize. Yep, power seating. So, again, 2013 Ford F-150, a beautiful dark green color. Um, and an incredible price. I'm going to give you more details about it as soon as we can. But my name is Joseph Carr. I work at Shaper Chevrolet. If you have any questions, give me a call, please, and I'd be happy to assist you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.